Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the People Show, where we check the post rescue nation. Brought to you by Nebraska Spine Hospital. It's just an article that went up recently on Omaha World Herald's website, written by Hunter, who does a great job here at OWH. He, he broke down the eight Huskers that are on five different NFL teams that will be participating in the NFL playoffs this weekend. And he, these are the guys who have an opportunity to get back and represent Nebraska in the Super Bowl. We had a Husker in the Super Bowl every year for four billion years straight until a year ago. That's been well documented. And he broke down what each Husker has done this season. He talked about them specifically and individually. He did a great, phenomenal job. Go check out that article. My spin on that is which of these eight Huskers, okay, and some of them are on the same team, Husker and or Huskers have the best opportunity to actually get back to the Super Bowl. So let's have some fun with that. Now, let me be very clear right off the bat. The four teams that I think have the best chance to get to the Super Bowl, the Chiefs, Bills, Packers, Saints. I know I shocked you with those. Unfortunately, there's no former Huskers on those teams. So of the teams that are left remaining that the Huskers are on, here are the teams that I think have the best opportunity to actually get there. You start with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I know the Brady haters are going to love me for that one. We have former Husker defensive lineman and Dominican Sue and Khalil Davis on there. Former Husker linebacker Levante David as well. Now, Sue made it to a Super Bowl a couple years ago with the Rams. This is actually Levante David's first ever playoff game. By the way, it's highway robbery that he has not been to more Pro Bowls. That guy is a phenomenal player. He needs more recognition for it. Okay, coming into this year, besides the Chiefs, this is the most talented team in the league. You could argue even more talented than the Chiefs potentially, but all the people who are like, oh, they're automatically going to get in the Super Bowl, do you know nothing about football? Like, they had no offseason. The first two weeks of training camp, you couldn't even hit. It was just walk through. They had no time to get on the same page and be a cohesive unit. And at times this year, we've seen the Bucks look good. And at times, we've seen them get flat out dissected by really good teams. The question is, at this point in time, have they had enough time to get that cohesiveness together and come together as a team and as a unit to actually make a run in the playoffs? I know Brady's motivated. He wants to shove it up Belichick's rear end. I know there's a whole bunch of guys on that Bucks team that are motivated. But do they another, need another year to actually get on the same page enough to compete with the elites in the NFL? Or are they there now? This team, I, I think, with the second best chance as a former Husker on is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Carlos Davis, former Husker D lineman, is on this team. Okay. Now, the question is, are the Steelers... In the playoffs, are they going to be the team that was 11-0 or lost three straight games after they started 11-0? It comes down to that. They've got an experienced quarterback. they got a good defense, but which team are they going to be? Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That's, that's my only question. I have them ahead of the Ravens simply because they swept the Ravens twice this year. They were 2-0 versus Baltimore. Now, it's hard to be the same team twice. It's probably even harder to beat them three times if they have to face them in the playoffs. But next up, okay, I've got Sam Cook, who's one of two players on this list that I actually played with. Sam Cook and Sue. Okay, and we got the Baltimore Ravens. Now, they're the biggest wild card in this entire NFL playoffs because of Lamar Jackson. Is he going to be the electrifying NFL MVP type player he was a season ago? Or is he going to show up and is he going to severely struggle in these playoff games like he has his first two playoff games where he's 0-2 as a starting quarterback? I know they're motivated. I know he's motivated. I know they want to beat Tennessee, who ousted them from the playoffs on their own home field last year, which is why I have Baltimore ahead of the Tennessee Titans where former Husker linebacker Will Compton and former Husker cornerback Joshua Kalu are on the Titans. Both undrafted guys kind of got that underdog vibe for him. You can't help but root for him. I, all I got to say is one name and two words, Derrick Henry. Ride that guy. He's the best running back I've seen in a long time in the NFL. Can Ryan Tannehill make enough plays? Can that defense, which has been leaky this year compared to last year when they made it to the FC title game, can they make enough plays as they ride Derrick Henry? That's the big question. Last, and I'm, I'm sorry, when it comes to teams on this, least, on this list, they're least, but not one of the least Huskers on this list because I love Andy Janovich. He was a fan favorite at Nebraska. Okay, he came to my football camp every day for an entire week straight. He drove an hour to get there. He drove an hour afterwards. So I appreciated that. He's one of my guys. But the Browns actually are a pretty good team this year. Baker Mayfield's playing much better. The problem is they've been ravaged by COVID. Okay, they're going to have their head coach out. They're going to have 10 coaches and or players out for this first playoff game versus the Steelers. That's why they're last on this list, but I still love you, Andy. So, the players with the best opportunity, in my humble opinion, to get back to get to the Super Bowl or back to the Super Bowl, depending on who you are, are the Bucks, which is Ndamukong Sue, Levante, David, Khalil, Davis. Next up on the list with the second best chance, in my humble opinion, the Steelers barely edging out the Ravens, who barely edge out the Titans. So the Steelers on there is C Carlos Davis. Next up is the Ravens with Sam Cook. Third is the Titans with Will Compton and Joshua Kalu. And last, my guy that I love, Andy Janovich with the Browns. Let me know, am I completely wrong? Am I somewhat right? Do I have the order flipped? 
is Tom Brady the greatest thing ever or not so much? I know my mom would be in the not so much category. I'm curious to see and or hear what you find folks at home have to say. I'm actually excited to watch these NFL playoffs. I'm excited to watch my former Husker brothers, especially guys that I played with, see how far they can go. Can they get the ring? Can they represent Nebraska in the Super Bowl? All right. Until next time, Husker Nation. Hit me up on Facebook and Twitter. Let me know your thoughts. Go Big Red Noise. Remember to throw the bug. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.